Over 6 million tenants were behind on rent, according to the United States Housing and Urban Development. Local experts I spoke with today say relief is out there. You just need to apply. I do think that the extra month is going to buy tenants a little bit more time. Riddy Singh with Rochester Citywide Tenants Union says massive numbers of tenants are behind on rent from this past year. It has a lot to do with financial struggles from the pandemic paired with rent prices skyrocketing lately. 65% of people in Rochester are tenants. So already you just are going to see big numbers because of that. A moratorium on evictions has protected these tenants for over a year. They can simply go months without paying rent as long as they file a declaration of hardship. But Singh says that protection ends for New Yorkers in one month. Local landlord Matt Druin says there's been some confusion over this with the federal moratorium ending today. But either way, he predicts the state moratorium will likely be extended again. Uh, I don't really see an end in sight for this. Uh On his end, it's been frustrating. He says a recent survey among upstate landlords says 67% of tenants aren't filling out the paperwork needed for rent relief, just not cooperating. At the same time, he's scrambling to keep up with taxes, utilities, and insurance. There's information on that paperwork that is... Um, that's, you know, personal, private, financial information that the landlord, a housing provider, would not be privy to. So they need the tenant's cooperation, but over half uh, are just blowing the landlords off. Singh urges these tenants to apply for the help they need, but says more long-term solutions are needed. The pandemic may have exposed it more, but this is not a new issue a rent relief program at the state level and a separate one for Monroe County residents. Just call 211 for assistance. As for those long-term solutions Singh is proposing, we have lots more coverage on that. Just head over to rochesterfirst.com. Jack? Ericetta, thank you. Also important to note here that the state-specific moratorium, specific to New York State, does not end until late August. And of course, we have the latest information on the coronavirus on our website, rochesterfirst.com.